Welcome to module one of the Startup Idea Factory. Now, before we can get into generating business ideas that are unique fit for your life, um, we need to take a step back and kind of reframe your mindset about entrepreneurship and address some of these very common misconceptions people often have about what it means to create a startup. Um, the main benefit you're gonna get from this module is when you have a deeper understanding of these misconceptions, um, you are gonna have more creative space mentally to start generating and recognizing opportunities. Um, secondly, you're gonna have a boosted confidence about the feasibility of starting your own business. A lot of people have a false reduced confidence about their ability to actually create something that's gonna lead to self-employment. And hopefully throughout these um, next couple videos, you will reframe your mindset about that. So the reason we have these misconceptions is because of the environment we're exposed to. We look at our phone and we see tech billion dollar ideas like Uber and Facebook and Instacart, or we turn on the TV and we watch shows like Shark Tank, where they have many invention based ideas or the show Silicon Valley, where you know it's a bunch of tech guys in California and it's extremely stressful and chaotic. Um, so this is kind of where we get our perception of entrepreneurship and startup, and I think it's misaligned with reality. Um, there's a lot of opportunities that kind of fly under the radar that aren't venture capital backed, or they're not featured in magazines, um, and maybe they're not billion dollar ideas. And so people really just don't pay attention to them or hear about them or process that people are making money off of these opportunities. So just to give you a brief intro of what these five to 10 minute videos are gonna be, first of all, lesson one, a lot of people think you need the most original idea ever to start a business. And the truth is everything is a remix. Businesses are an evolution of businesses that be came before them. Um, so I'm really going to drive this point home with a YouTube video and then a video of my own take on that YouTube video. Lesson two is understanding the difference between invention and innovation. So we're going to be really focused on business models and innovating off of those business models. Lesson three is about getting ready to compete. A lot of people don't want to share their idea because they don't want it stolen all the good ideas are stolen and just because your idea is on the market should not discourage you from going after that idea at the end of the day you're always going to have to compete one way or another so have that mindset going into it lesson four is about you know having this market sliver mentality just get your foot in the door get your product out there see if people are getting value from your product and just let it grow. It can grow organically. It doesn't need to consume your life right away. Um, you don't have to quit your job right away. So just get something out there and see where it goes. And then lesson five is about understanding the spectrum of entrepreneurship. On the one extreme, we have side hustles that essentially trade time for money. And on the other extreme of the spectrum, um, we have full-blown venture capital, scalable platforms, um, startup opportunities. And in between those two spectrums are all these different segments that kind of have a different intensity level, different opportunity ceiling, a different risk level associated with it. So we're going to understand that spectrum. Okay, guys, so each video is going to end with a short two to ten minute task. Our first class, our first live class, we are just going to introduce uh, the people in the course a little more about personal boundaries um, that you need to be aware of and review some of the tasks that we um, have at the end of these videos. So I look forward to our first class and stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks, guys.